All right, what's up, everybody? It's Chris Ab here. Uh, in light of all the recent political craziness, I decided that I'm going to go ahead and do a series of positive videos. Just try to speak some kind of happiness, positivity, encouragement into the online community because it kind of seems to be going crazy right now. Um, all right, so today I was uh, I went out to exercise a little bit, and on my way home. I was uh, doing my gratitude list for the day. I try to just list the things and the people in my life that I'm thankful for, that I'm grateful for. And today, uh, as I was walking down the hill, I found myself uh, thanking God for my talents. Um, and I realized as I was thanking for the talents that I have that I also had some tinge of uh, guilt. Um, and I realized that the reason for that is because I have buried my talents for so long. I mean, I'm talking years. Uh, and I suspect that there might be a lot of people out there like me. Like You have talents, you know you're good at something, and you know that God gave you that talent, but you're too afraid to put it out there, to use it. Um, and so I wanted to make this video to encourage you, whatever it is, whether you're, you've got a book inside you, or you draw, or paint, or dance, or act, or uh, maybe you give the best massages in the world, or you're a yogi, or a triathlete, or a jiu-jitsu master, or whatever you are, whatever you do, um, put it out there. Uh, the world needs your gifts, um, and you need to put it out there. And so I was thinking about this story, uh, this is a Bible story actually, um, and so there's this rich dude, and he calls three of his servants, and he gives them all different amounts of money. and. Probably not coincidentally, the, the measurement for the money is called talents. So first guy, he gives him uh, five talents, and then the next guy, he gives him three talents, and the last guy, uh, the, the, the rich master, gives him uh, one talent. So he goes off on a trip, and he leaves these guys to do their thing. First dude takes his five talents, he invests them, and he makes back, I don't know, five more talents, whatever. Uh, second dude, he also invests his, he puts them out there, and they make back more money. He gets it back, and boom, everybody's happy. And the third guy, he takes his talent, and he buries it. Um, so when the master comes home, he comes to collect what's his, and the first servant says, hey, dude, look, I uh, took your five talents that you gave me. I went out, I invested them, and look, I've got 10. And yay, well done, my good and faithful servant. Here, more money, do more. Uh, same story with the second guy. Yay, good job, here, do more. But when he gets to the third guy, he gives him this one dirty bag of money or talent, uh, and the master's like, what happened? And he says, well, basically, he says, I was scared, and I buried your money. Um, and so the, the master actually says, you wicked and unfaithful servant, uh, takes the money from him and says, get out of my sight. Um, and I don't, I, I mean, I, I don't want to interpret that story in the more traditional way of, uh, don't be a wicked and faithless servant to God or whatever. But uh, I think it's trying to give us a, uh, a principle, something that we can learn from. And I think the principle is you got to put your stuff out there. Um, God gives us all talents and like money, we need to invest it in something and try to make something back. So say you've got a book that you want to write, you oh, I've got this great idea for a novel, whatever. If you're like most people who have an idea, you probably haven't even started it or you've gotten to chapter one and you haven't finished it. And ask yourself why, like what are you afraid of, right? If we're honest with ourselves, most of us are afraid of the rejection. We put it out there and it gets terrible reviews, uh, the critics hate it, whatever, or worse yet, it gets ignored, nobody even likes it, right? Um, but there's that third option that you might become an international bestseller. You might make your living off of writing and be happy the rest of your life. Um, the thing is, if you don't put your stuff out there, you don't get any of those options. So on one hand, all of us who are artists need to develop a thick skin, right? We need to be able to take criticism from others, learn from it, improve from it, and that's a process. We all learn to not take things personally, one step at a time, right? But the first step is, do get your stuff out there. Whatever it is you do, uh, this is a moment of complete honesty here, this is my first video. Uh, speaking to the camera like this and I'm uncomfortable as hell I don't I don't I'm not comfortable with this I don't know what I'm doing but I feel like I have things to say that need to be said that need to be heard uh, I don't think I'm some great guru or something I'm gonna change the world but maybe somebody somewhere out there needs to hear what I have to say today and so this is me getting over myself 
putting it out there. And so my message for you today is don't bury your talents. You're talented, you're beautiful, you've got what it takes. Go out there, do something with it, don't bury it. All right, peace.